Hey everybody, welcome back to the Freedom Motivator channel. Thanks for coming back for today's uh, part three of how to build a funnel in the all-powerful Builder All uh, platform. Okay, we're going to finish it up today. I think we can get it done in three. I know in the other videos I mentioned about doing it in four possibly, but I kind of went ahead and uh, I think we can get her done in three here. So uh, stick around. Uh, if this is your first time here, make sure you hit the, uh, the button down here. I think it is on this side. And uh, don't forget uh, to subscribe and don't forget to ding dong the bell so you get notified of when we post again, okay? All right, so we'll be right back here in just a moment and we'll get started on this thing and finish it up step by step here how to build a funnel and build her all and uh, so you can see how this is done, okay? Be right back. Hey everybody, welcome back to the Freedom Motivator channel. Uh, my name is Kevin Lehner and today we're finishing up uh, part three of a three-part tutorial on how to build a funnel in Builder All platform. Okay, so uh, let's go ahead and get right on this and uh, get started and uh, show you how to finish this thing up. Now, uh, a couple of days ago or so, I made the first video and we made this page right here. All right, and uh, I thought it was going to be four parts to do this, but I think I got it finished here where we can do it in uh, three parts here. So, in an effort to cut down on time again on the length of the video, I went ahead and uh, and uh, jumped ahead and created the, the final page, our thank you page, and, and I also set it up so you'll be able to see how it works as well, too. We'll, we'll see it live on the web, how it works. Now, earlier, we made this page here, and then the, the second day we made a, uh, a, a uh, pop-up for our, to collect our email addresses and names and email addresses for our autoresponder. All right, now, er, on the other video I created a pop-up, but, uh, but I found out that uh, I didn't do it right because, remember, we tested it if you watched that part two video, and it didn't really function correctly. Well, I found out it was two things, and probably both of them were me. Uh, because this has been a learning process even for me as well as it is for you. So we're both getting something uh, good out of this and some good value here as we go along. All right, so um, what I did was is I created a funnel and I, I, I went over here and I clicked here where it says pop-up right here. And that I shouldn't have done that. That's where I messed up at because it didn't attach itself to the, the home page, uh, which is this one here and it didn't attach itself to that. So that's why it wasn't working correctly. What I should have did, uh, and which I did do, is what we got here. And I've also found out that not all pop-ups are created equal in Builder, Builder All either. There's different pops up pop-ups for different types of websites or whatever it is uh, that you're trying to do. All right, so um, I went ahead and what I should have done is I come over here and uh, open up and see our layout here, okay? And uh, and I should have right here clicked here on the home page and uh, that should open it up here if it will there it is and then come down here well that's not right either see I'm still not getting it right but I come here anyway click here bring up the pages here and then then what I what I should have done was come down here and click add a page on the part two and then when I go to add a page and I come over here to two steps pop uh, right here and it gives us uh, several choices here. All right, well, these pop-ups are not all created the same. I mean, they're different pop-ups for different situations of what you're doing on your website. Uh, it works for, you know, marketing, such as the one that we're building here, a funnel, or even if you're just like building a web, regular website, you're gonna have a different type of a pop-up for that. It might be a video pop-up, it might be uh, something that uh, has coupons involved that you're giving away or something like that. Now, but I chose this one right here. Uh, that's the one you see uh, on the screen uh, when I brought it up. Uh, this one here is called Click Pop 7 is the name of it. So I just left it the same. And then just click Confirm and that will load it up for you in, in the editor and then you can edit it from there. Alright, so we'll just uh, won't need to take it now. But that's what I should have done and I didn't do the other day in the other video. 
to allow to attach itself to this page right here so it works so I've got that corrected and, and you'll see later on as we as we uh, test it out you'll see how it works all right so and then um, after the pop-up uh, on our part three I was going to create a thank you page I told you so I went ahead and did that and uh, here's what it looks like All right, so it just comes up uh, with what you see here. It says, congratulations, you're confirmed. After they put their uh, information into the uh, uh, form so that they can have, you know, we can have their email address and name in our autoresponder and they can get emails. All right, so and the way I created this page is I kept the same uh, uh, picture, as you'll notice, the theme all the way through the uh, uh, funnel is the same. And, it, and also, it comes up, I've set it so it comes up and it doesn't open up in a new tab on each step. Okay, It'll, it stays right in the same tab. So you want to keep it so that the customer or the, the uh, person watching the uh, video doesn't have to keep clicking on tabs to see each page. Have it come right up in the same tab. So it's right there on that and it just shows them right away. So anyways, how I created the thank you page, sort of the similar, same thing. I come over here. Click down on our free ebook, which is the name of the uh, uh, funnel that we created here. And uh, I come down here again and I click add a page. Okay, and then I chose here instead of some of these other ones that are here. There's quite a few here. Uh, there's even a sales funnel one here and all that. And, but that's not, uh, those are going to be different situations uh, for what we're doing here in this, uh, this marketing funnel. All right, so I chose, I chose the blank page. And... Uh, this is just a straight up blank page and when I click confirm it uh, it just automatically because it's attached to our our funnel and our home page here it brought up this it brought this page up with the picture already there to keep our theme the same throughout the process and then all I did was just edit it okay and I added this text right here this text box here that you can move around here and uh, put the what you see in there uh, and then it's thank you and then I then I give them our offer we give them our offer right here too okay as you see down here is would you like to see a product that I have uh, that is helping people lose massive amounts of weight because our theme remember was about health and health and fitness and health and wellness and uh, so we stay along with that same thing and uh, uh, lose massive amounts of waste and increase their energy levels by 10 times in a very short time uh, and it tastes great too so it's a it's a sort of a food product all right now already and uh, what I did was is I went over here to uh, well I had it up here just a moment ago but I didn't but let's go to uh, Clickbank Clickbank is where I create got the, our product from and uh, let me log in here I was logged in earlier, but uh, you know, they want me to show bridges here. Okay, I'll verify this to get in here. All right, and then uh, clicked on Marketplace. Now, most of you probably know about ClickBank. It's a, it's an affiliate marketing site where you've got all kinds of different categories that you can promote uh, for affiliate marketers, such as me and, and you. And uh, come down here, and I, I clicked on Health and Fitness. That's our theme, right? And uh, now there's lots of them here that you can choose. I just came down and I chose uh, this one down here, uh, Flat Belly Detox uh, one right here, uh, High Converting Weight Loss Offer. All right. And then I just, and, and you can make it, this, for this particular product, you can make about $35 per sale. Okay. So all I did there was I just clicked on Promote, and it comes up, and it, and it asks you to create your affiliate link. All right, so the uh, tracking ID is optional. I'm, you know, I don't fool with that unless I'm promoting, you know, two or three products at a time. Then I would use a tracking link so I can tell where the, you know, which product they're clicking on or whatever. All right, but anyway, just click create, and it creates our affiliate link right here. Now, I don't need to take this one because I've already got one. Uh, I did this earlier. Like I said, I went ahead and made this uh, yesterday so I could sort of save on some time on this video. So, anyways, but we'd, we'd copy our, our link here and then just come on out of here and then come back over here into our editor. And then I attached this link, the affiliate link, to this button right here. 
all right and the button I just created the button from here right there it gives you several buttons and it's this one right here there's all kinds of them down through here as I showed you before and I just took this button here the standard button the blue button notice like I said that uh, the, the member I said in the other video that there are three uh, three colors that seem to get the most clicks that is blue such as what you see there uh, green and orange okay so I thought blue will keep it blue because it stays with our theme of our colors here so we keep everything uniform so to speak so I brought that over into here and then I changed the text on it just by right clicking on it come up here to text and then you can see the text right here uh, I changed that text up, uh, right there so uh, and then it says uh, yes you know it gives them that and then it says yes I'd like to see the product alright so then I attached our affiliate link to it okay so I come up to action and then you see right here is our Clickbank affiliate link that I've already attached to it and notice that I ticked open in the same tab so they don't have to uh, keep clicking on tabs basically the less work that you have to make the uh, customer or the prospect do the better it is and the better chances are that they you know they'll stick with it and maybe purchase okay uh, but now the rule of thumb is is that uh, 80, 80 to 95 percent somewhere in that range of people won't buy the first time anyway that's just the way it is. Uh, 90, probably 90 some percent of the people who see your offer the first time are just not going to buy right off the bat. There'll be some that will, but most of them will not. But that's okay. That's okay that we got this covered. I'll show you. So uh, we put our fillet link here, choose the same tab, and then just click OK. All right, so that sets our button up for us. Now, when they click on this button, it's going to take them right over to our product page, which I'll show you here in a little bit. Alrighty, so anyway, so that's how I created this, and I did put and I put in a uh, the uh, I went to appearance and uh, chose the uh, uh, if it'll, yeah and chose this box right here. You know, we could have had different types of boxes or transparent one or whatever, but I chose this one right here, which stays with our theme on our first page. Okay, and. Uh, so yeah, if we take a look at our uh, first page here, and uh, see it's got the same box and the same same color button and so on and so forth. And uh, the only thing that might be a little bit different is our pop-up. And uh, other than it keeps the same theme in terms of our picture and some of the colors there. And I left the button on this pop-up as green, and I changed the text to yes, uh, uh, give me instant access. Okay. Also, I want to mention this too. You want to make sure that at the bottom of your pop-up that you have this down here about we hate spam just like you and your email is safe. Something along that line. That just makes them feel comfortable. Now, also And also too, if you notice up here, you want to make sure that your pages are secure. Okay? So this connection is secure here. Okay? That also helps people be more comfortable with uh, you know following through your funnel too you want to make sure you've got uh, a secure page okay but I think those pretty much natural I didn't have to do that it was pretty well natural uh, when it came up like that so but just was something you want to check on okay all right so all right so here we have our funnel and all and like I said we, I attached on our uh, button here I come up here and I changed the URL I, I took care of the uh, some of the appearance and moved some things around you always want to make sure that you center your elements make sure they're centering and then and they look good that's right click and just click center the element but anyways coming back here and I on our uh, URL here what they'll do is when they click on it it goes to the thank you page which is that next page I showed you and uh, then on the button uh, Let's see here. Uh, looking for uh, was it options field content. Uh, let's see. I clicked on configure. Brought up mailing boss. I selected. I also created uh, like it was showed in the other one. I created a subscriber list D for this. Okay. Now I'll show that to you here now. 
that's this one right here. Uh, and I called it, or like I said, showed in the other video, called our ebook list. Okay. And, uh, but anyways, uh, attached it to that. And then, uh, so that when they click on this and they put their information in, the information will go to our uh, subscriber list D. And then they will be sent over to the thank you page from here. All right. So that's how that works. All right. And it's got a nice little graph right here. You know, it shows that they're almost complete. It comes out and so on and so forth. So, all right. So that's how we've got that created. Now, the other thing I wanted to tell you, too, is you want to make sure that you have this uh, set up on all three platforms. Okay, this is the desktop platform for computers or whatever. Now, uh, they also have up here, you have your tablet platform and your mobile. A lot of people today are using mobile, using their cell phones. So you want to make sure that you set your your uh, website so it uh, fits even on a phone. Most, of, most people will use their phones today. And phones seem to be the, the, the main thing. So you want to make sure it fits on that. So... What I did was, and I told you in the other video about this too, the other video, that when you do that, you're going to find some of your elements are going to be on the uh, outside of the, uh, of the uh, platform. See? So some of the, uh, this platform here, the inside of this box here, which sort of looks like a phone, and a lot of these elements were sticking out here on the right side. So all you do is you just grab them and drag them in. Now here's one right here. I'm not sure what that is. Oh, that's the privacy policy, but I already created one, so I'll, I'll just go ahead and remove this one here. All right. So, yeah, it's already right here. Like I said, you want to make sure that your privacy policy is there so that people feel comfortable uh, putting in their information, okay? And I think we also, we had that on our, uh, uh, our uh, first page, too, if I remember correctly. Yeah, it's on our first page, too. So you want to have it on both those pages. That's the first page there, too, but... Uh, you want to have it on the click pop. So, anyways, but you're gonna you're gonna come back in here and uh, align everything and make it fit to the mobile phone space here. Okay, and then also even with on the desktop, now you want to make sure you put your copyright down here. Uh, if you have a corporation or an LLC or something like that, you want to put your uh, copyright down here. So that shows. It just makes it look more professional, and uh, so on and so forth. Okay. And you drag, uh, like I said, you drag your elements in here, you arrange them, make them look right. And, uh, you know, you're going to do the same. You can center the element, uh, make sure that everything is centered. Okay? Even your uh, text for your privacy policy. And then always want to make sure that you save. Everything you do, you want to make sure that you save it. Particularly if it says modified items, that means things have been changed. All right, so you want to make sure you save everything. Even if it's not, just go ahead and save it anyway. Uh, as before, I told you in the other video, uh, part two. All right, so we've got it set for a platform on the phone. All right, that's good. Now, the next platform, of course, would be tablet. Same thing here in the tablet view. view tablet view. Okay. When you first come over here, after creating it in the desktop view, you're going to have some elements that may be out here on the right side which here is another one with that privacy policy, but I'll just go ahead and, and remove it and uh, because I've already uh, put another one down here. All right, so yeah, your, your elements will be out here along the side, more than likely. Uh, some of them won't, some of them will, but you just want to drag them, click them and drag them in and set them on your, within, within the box here and uh, so on and so forth and then edit it and everything and then you want to make sure everything, of course, is centered. Make sure all your elements are centered on the page. Even the uh, privacy policy here, too. All right, so, and then save it. All right, so we see that uh, we've got everything created here, uh, even on our thank you page here, which I created already. Showed you how to do that. Um, it should show up now. You see here. I need to correct that on the thank you page. It didn't do it Let's check the pop-up page here So you're going to get a chance to see how this is done right here All right, so the, yeah the pop-up page. I, I got that one correct. Okay So 
All right, so let's come back and, and take care of our thank you page. You got to get it right too. All right, so we're going to end up editing that. So like I said, you see some things, your elements are out here on the on the right side. So you just want to grab them and drag them in. Now we know our button here is going to be there and our our uh, lettering is going to be up here and so on. So I'm going to bring this down, make more room. Actually, I think I'll bring it down here a little bit more. And then, uh, let's see here, get our button down here out of the way. And then this text right here needs to be smaller, obviously, okay? So we can put in our congratulations and then I'll put our box in here too. We'll do that here in just a moment. So the way we do that is just come up here and you click customization. And we can adjust the font. I'm going to choose white here just to make sure, okay? And then uh, and we can adjust the font. Just now, it's a little too small. Make it a little bit bigger. Something like that. And then we can drag it out a little bit because we've got some room to drag it out here. And let's go with a little bit it's a little bit bigger, a little bit larger here. We can do that on the tablet here, just a little bit larger. Maybe something like that right there. Okay. All right, and then we want to bring our congratulations. Here. Well, that's the box there. We'll set that. Actually, we can just go ahead and set that now. So we'll bring that box over here and... Uh, drag it around so everything is all of our text is within that box keeping with our theme just like on the desktop right and uh, we'll make that box a little bit bigger because we want to put our button in there right and our privacy policy needs to go in there too okay there we go and we can bring that down a little bit and then we'll bring our congratulations and thank you uh, ones over here and I'll just uh, Spread that out a little bit. Okay. Something sort of like that. Now we're going to adjust the font on it too. So we'll click right click on it, bring up our menu, and then choose customization. And it brings this up right here. And we're going to choose our font and just going to make it so it looks good within the within the element here. Bring it back up again. And, oh yeah, choose white here. You want to choose white. Make sure all your lettering is white. And then uh, let's bring our font sort of something similar to that right there. Something along that line. Uh, I don't know where I'm getting this T at right here, where it's coming from. But uh, so let's uh, double click on it brings up our editor, editor so we can do something. Now the only thing about <clears throat> in the other platforms or when you're bringing your elements over I've noticed is that you, in the editor you can't change the color of the text or anything on there. You always want to right click and go to customization then you can change the color of your text and so on and so forth. So let's get rid of this T right here. I don't know where that came from. Um, and uh, So yeah, I think we're good right there. Click off, close that. So and then we can adjust this a little bit here, and our text will adjust it into the box. Our button, uh, well, let's get our uh, find out. It's over here somewhere, I think. Our privacy policy thing. Uh, or no, that's right. We don't need the privacy policy on the thank you page. My bad. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. So, <clears throat> and we'll set our button up here. All right. So and we'll just kind of spread it out a little bit. And then we can uh, make it a little bit larger. Notice it's, it stays with our theme. You know, the colors are all the same, just like on the other pages. So we have everything looks pretty good here on this page at this point. Uh, let's bring this down just a little bit. So we'll make sure it's not off the page on their, on their tablet. Okay. So we're going to hit uh, center of the element. We're going to hit center this element. 
I'm going to center the, bo uh, the button and I'm going to center the box. Okay. Actually, we can bring the box up and make it a little bit larger, I think, here, too. So, let's drag this down just a little bit more. Yeah. Make sure we center it again. Just want to make sure everything is good and centered so it looks good, including your box element. Okay? All right, so that sort of looks good right there. All right, and we're not too close. I want to make sure we we'll bring this, let's bring this down just a little bit more here, just to make sure. Because sometimes I've noticed, sometimes on uh, we're probably going to have to do this with the phone, the phone uh, level too. Uh, sometimes I've noticed that when you after you do this and then you bring it up on your phone, some things might be overlapped a little bit. So you got to come back in and make the adjustment so it looks right. Okay, so. Uh, all right. So, anyways, we have uh, have it looks pretty good here. It doesn't look like anything should be overlapped in terms of uh, uh, our screens. So, uh, should be okay. I don't have a tablet where I can check it, uh, in it or anything like that. But so, all right. So we're done. We got everything edited there. Everything centered up. Looks pretty good. Uh, right size fonts and all looks pretty good there. So let's go ahead and save this. All right and got the tablet taken care of. Now let's come over to the phone and it's probably we're going to have to edit it too and make it look right. Yeah, okay. Alright, so let's uh, let's see what we're looking, dealing with here. Let's sort of bring this down. Give us some room here. Now the only thing about this is, is hopefully it didn't change it on our desktop either. We'll have to check that out. Sometimes when you edit these for the phone and tablet, it will make changes a little bit to your desktop, and you just have to keep working with it till you get it right. Okay, so <clears throat> all right, so we'll uh, uh, we'll bring our box over here first, and it's bringing the text with it too. So all right, so then the text. We're going to edit it and try to make it look just right here. So come to right click on the text. Again, customization. Choose our color. We want white text. Now, also, some of these, the text, if it doesn't show up good because you've got a white background, such as we have the clouds there in our picture, right? You want to add a shadow to the text so it pops off the clouds or the white any white background that you have. So it could be read easily. Okay. All right. So let's uh, we'll see here, and let's go ahead and adjust our font size here, and make it sort of look right. Let's try that right there once. And if we can bring it down here, and we'll try to edit it and squeeze it in here onto our. I think that makes the text look a little bit there. So let's 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 see if we can spread the box out a little bit and give us more room to work with here. Okay. All right. So um, let's spread this out a little bit in here in the box, make it sort of look better. Yeah, that that kind of looks pretty good right there. Okay. All right. So. Then uh, now we'll uh, we'll go ahead and adjust our uh, our button a little bit. We can spread it out. And just adjust it. Okay. It looks pretty good. And then I'll center it in the box. And we'll center our text and we'll center actually I think also I'm going to drag this down a little bit farther so we have room for our larger text up there okay so then uh, let me center the box here make sure that's done okay and then we're going to bring our our uh, thank you text into here again we're going to have to adjust the font drag that in there 
Alright, so right click again, go to customization. Make sure it's white. Okay. Now I've already put a shadow behind this on the desktop version because of the clouds. Uh, so you can see a little bit of shadow behind the, uh, the text. Okay. And uh, uh, so we'll go ahead and uh, get this adjusted here now. So we'll come down here. And we'll adjust it right there. That sort of that almost looked pretty good right there. I think. Let's see what happens here. Yeah, looks like it's not going to be. Uh, it's coming like a little bit more. Right there. That looks pretty good right there. Okay. And you can, you know, it's in normal normal text now, but you can bold it or make it bolder or whatever. Do your line spacing and so on and so forth and letter spacing. So it looks pretty good right there where it's at. So so the sometimes, like I said, when you set this and you look on your device and you look, you might see it'll be overlapped. It'll be up here a little bit on the white part and you only see part of it down here. So it's best to sort of bring the uh, element just a little bit farther down so that's in you make sure it's in uh, it's not overlapping okay same thing with at the bottom it could happen down here too but you'll just have to adjust it till you get it right and then look at it on your phone adjust it look at it on your phone until it looks right to you on the phone then you know it'll look good on anybody's phone okay all right so I think we're going to be okay here um, let's go ahead and uh, and uh, center this right here, and we'll center everything else. Simply just right-clicking on everything and click center the element on all of our elements. Okay. All right. So that looks pretty good. That looks pretty good right there. Okay. All right. So again, come up and save it. And then, okay, that will save that. Now, like I said, remember I told you, sometimes when you do this, it affects the desktop version a little bit too. Uh, you'll get a notice. If you, if you step out of bounds with it, you'll get a pop-up that will give you, it will bring notice here. I think I'll see if I can get that to happen for you. So if I was to, like, set something up here, yeah, because it's out of bounds. It's out of our scope of our picture and our elements and the other elements. And they're telling you here that when you do that, it affects the other pages. Okay? So that's just a good reminder. Alrighty? So we'll go ahead and yeah, I got it. And then we know what the issue is. So we'll just bring this back down into our into our bounds where we're at here. Right? And make sure we come down a little bit there so we're not close to that area up there. Because, that, yeah, and it's going to pop up again and tell us. So we know we're right now. We'll just go ahead and click the center of the element. And then go ahead and save it again, just to be on the safe side. Modified items, so yeah, save it. All right. So it looks good on the phone there. We got the phone part uh, straightened out. Uh, and I will uh, also try to bring it up on my phone and uh, and see how well that works too. All right. Okay. Now, uh, let's go over and check the tablet see if it made any changes there so see it did it made some changes there um, so what we're going to have to do is to come back and correct that again okay hopefully it doesn't change anything else I'm going to drag this down sort of straighten it out there. Now let's uh, center it. Okay. And then save it here. Hopefully it didn't mess with our phone here. 
and it didn't. Looks good. All right, kept the same there. We're good there. I'm going to go ahead and just to make sure and save it again, even though it says there's no modifications right here, okay? But it doesn't matter. Just make sure. Make sure you save it. It's a lot of work that goes into this, isn't it, on I mean, these three videos? So you just want to make sure you get everything correct. So let's check our desktop now. Come back to desktop version. And it uh, doesn't look like it uh, affected it too much. Uh, maybe this one here, maybe this here. So let's bring this down a little bit here. Okay. And then we'll go ahead and we'll center it. And then save it. Everything else, let's check everything else. Make sure it's everything centered. Yeah, just a right click and then brings up that menu. And then we'll save it here. And that should take care of us. Right there. All right. Okay, now let's go back through them again and check each one to make sure. That's the desktop version. There's our tablet version. See? Looks pretty good. Even, even if they scroll on the tablet, looks pretty good right there. Okay, and then let's check our phone version, and that looks pretty good too. Yeah, yeah. looks good. All right, so again, gonna make sure. Save it. Come back to the tablet. Save it again, just to be sure. Even though it says no modifications, going to make sure. And uh, go back to our desktop. Okay, that looks good. And then we'll save it, just to be sure. All right, now, so we've got our thank you page taken care of here. Let's make sure that all of our pages, let's go back through the funnel and make sure that all of our pages look good. And then we should be complete, okay? So we'll come back to the home. There we go. And that looks pretty good there. Alrighty. All right, looks pretty good. And let's go check our tablet on the home page. And that looks pretty good there too. Okay. Maybe a little bit high. Maybe a little bit high there. Let's see. Let's just bring this, bring the box down a little bit. Yeah, well, that's what we're missing. The text is not in the box. So there we go. Is that a little too much, maybe? It possibly is. Let's come back up. Try to get it centered in there. Uh, So it looks good on the page when they load it up in their tablet. Okay? All right, so we'll, let's uh, go ahead and make sure everything's centered. Okay? And then we'll center the box. Make sure the box is centered. There we go. All right. Looks pretty good on the, uh, on the tablet version. So let's save it because of our changes. See, it says modified items. Save that. And then we'll check our phone. And that looks, uh, that looks pretty good. But see how we're still even close with the box? We're close up here to this out of bounds area right up here. We're okay down here. So let's, let's bring everything. Let's bring this down. Just so we'll make sure that we're centered up here just a little bit there. There we go. There we go. Bring our button down just a little bit too. Away from it. Okay. All right. Let's see. this down a little bit more here. Bring this text down so it's not out of bounds of the box. 
Alrighty, and that looks pretty centered in terms of that, so we'll save that. Or center it right now, and then we'll save it. Make sure everything is centered on the, on the screen. Okay. Looks pretty good there. Now I'm going to go ahead and save it, because we modified it. Modified items. Alright. That looks pretty good there. Now let's come back and make sure it didn't move anything on our tablet version, which it doesn't look like it did. Looks pretty good. And then, of course, our desktop version. Okay. Okay. All right. That's that page. Let's go through the pages again. Now we're going to flip back to the click pop into our pop-up and make sure that it's uh, it's saved correctly. Everything looks good on each screen, on each each platform. So there's our desktop. Looks good there. All looks pretty good. And we'll go to tablet. And the tablet mode looks pretty good. Although I think just to be safe so we don't get in our out-of-bounds area here maybe with some of this text, let's just go ahead and adjust it down a little bit. Come down a little bit farther with it. And bring this down so we'll just make sure we're not out in our touching in our out of bounds area there. Okay? Enter your name and best email address to get instant access. Enter your name and email address below to get started. Alright, and then we'll uh, make sure that everything is uh, centered. Check all of our elements in here and make sure they're centered as well. These, uh, this, uh, this one here is tough to get sometimes because you got two elements in there. You got the text for almost complete and then this box that it's in. All right, and then we'll make sure our, uh, our form is centered. Okay, that looks pretty good right there. Well, it looks really good on the tablet there. Let's go ahead and save that. And I think we'll be just about ready to test this out. Okay, well, this video is going to be just as long as the rest of them, it looks like. <laughs> but uh, you got a chance to see how to edit the other platforms, too. So this is a, it's a good learning experience for you there. Okay, as well as me, too. Helping me, too. Uh, you know, the teacher gets just as much out of teaching as, as the student does. So it, it all works out good for, for everybody here. All right, I appreciate your patience and uh, sticking with me here. And... Uh, because I really wanted you to see how to do this. Uh, to be quite honest with you, I don't know. I, I've never found any other internet marketer or anybody for that matter ever uh, on YouTube. I've watched a lot of uh, videos on how to create uh, funnels, but they don't show you in detail how to do it on a platform, let alone build it all. Um, <clears throat> as far as I know, I may not. I may be wrong in saying this, but I'm the only one that's ever actually done this I think I don't I've never seen anybody else do the do this in detail where they show you how to actually do it on any platform whether it be lead pages or click funnels or or whatever other platform now <clears throat> most marketers will show you and make it a lot shorter video but they'll show you on a whiteboard or on their chalkboard that you need to have a you, know, you need to have a free product you need to attach it to your pop-up or your your uh, your form your email form and then you need to have it go to a thank you page and then you can direct it to a product or whatever uh, or have them watch a video on the thank you page you know you can put videos on there too which videos uh, they say are uh, better than just a regular thank you page like we created here we could put a video on there but uh, that's for the you know that would even make this even longer but uh, <clears throat> I don't know if I, I've never seen any other marketer do what I'm doing right here, and I'm not not to boast or nothing, but I it, because I I needed to uh, do this myself. I learned also, but I mean I wanted to show everybody, including you, how to actually do this and create a funnel on a platform. Okay, and uh, being that I'm a, a member of Builderall, and it to me, in my opinion, it's the best platform in the world. Uh, which, by the way, uh, check the link down there. I've got a link down at the bottom in the description. Uh, for so you can have a seven-day free trial uh, of Builderall, and it uh, it starts out. Their prices are 9.90 a month, and that gets you the the mailing boss and a few other things. 
$29.90 a month gets you pretty much a lot of the platform, all of it actually. And then uh, there's other things that you can get if you get the $49.91 or $50 a month, you'll get the, uh, you can become an affiliate and be able to sell this uh, builder all platform and get make money from it as well. So, uh, but yeah, click the link down there in the description if you want to get a seven day free trial of that, okay? All right, but yeah, I wanted to create this. I want to do this step by step so that you can see how it's done uh, on a platform. And this will work the same probably on lead pages or click funnels or any of them other more expensive platforms. Okay. All right, so we're good on our, we're good there, and we'll just click and uh, make sure we save everything, right? Even though it says no modifications, we just want to make sure that everything is is saved and correct. Okay, looks good. When we scroll through the phone, looks pretty good. Come back up the process. Didn't make no changes there. It all looks pretty good there. And there's no sense to save it there, I don't think. But just in case, <laughs> you never know <laughs> with this. So just make sure and go ahead and save it anyway, okay? All right, and then we'll come back to our desktop platform. And then, uh, and of course, then that looks good too, okay? All right, so then let's uh, one more time. We'll check our thank you page. And make sure it's correct. Desktop version. As you can see, we could have put a video in here too. A lot of times people put videos in, uh, but for our purpose here, we'll just put using text thank you page. Looks good on the uh, desktop. Let's go to tablet. And here we are in tablet mode. Looks pretty good there too, right? came down a little bit of space here so we make sure we're not touching our out of bounds area here and uh, and I, just, I don't have a tablet to check it on but uh, hopefully that will look pretty good on somebody's tablet okay and then we'll uh, we'll come back to the mobile version and it looks pretty good there looks pretty good there okay we scroll through everything looks pretty good Okay. All right. Good. So, just going to make sure one more time everything is saved. It saves it on all the platforms too. So, uh, but we're just uh, going to go back up, back up the phone, and make sure everything's saved. Just to be on the safe side. That's all. <laughs> I've learned this from from trial and error on this too. You'll probably find out the same uh, when you do it too. Okay. All right. So I think we're good. I think we're good. We're just going to make sure one more time here. All right, so we finally we got our funnel complete now. Let's see this thing in action, okay? All right, so I'm going to go ahead, and we're going to actually see it live right on the web, okay? All right, so I'm going to close out of my editor. Of course, it's going to tell me here, if you leave it, make sure your everything is saved, and we know it is, so we're just going to go ahead and leave out of the editor. And uh, here it is in our uh, builder all platform under my sites, you know, and, and that's what I call it. Was my site was the the name of this particular funnel, and uh, so <clears throat> now what I did was is when I finished this up, is I clicked on my site, okay, and then I took and I took the link that it puts up here. It puts a link up here in the thing, and I took that link and I went over to uh, Bidly. A link shortener. I mean, you've probably heard of Bitly, or you got also Google can do it, and so on and so forth. And I shortened the link up, okay. And uh, here's our link right here, okay. So we're going to take this link. This is the link for our funnel that's been shortened. And I got, and I'll copy that link. And I got that from clicking here. All right. This is actually a live version of it right here, okay? That's the desktop version, of course. All right, and then I took this link right here, copied it, went over to Bidly, and shortened it up to uh, what you see right here, okay? It just makes it look better. So, okay, let's get this. Let's go through this now. I'm going to close out of here. We're going to log out of everything. This is going to be a total web view of this, okay? We're going to log straight out of Builder All. All right, and close out our uh, close out our uh, mailing thing. We're done with ClickBank. We've got our product already set here to promote into our our funnel, and 
it's also, as I'll show you, I put that in, in the email too. You'll notice I did put a live link to the product in the email. So okay, now let's see this thing live here. Alright, so I'm going to close out a clickbank too. So we're back to nothing open here, okay? We do have our link copied. And now let's see how this thing works. Alright, so I'm going to click in here. Now let's pretend we have this link. This is the link that you'd market. You'd put this link like on Facebook or Instagram in your profile and you might say something like, hey, I have a free ebook here. Would you like to, on how to lose, people are losing lots of weight per week or something along that line. And then you'd attach that, that link right there to your Instagram to that, those, that wording uh, about offering your free ebook, right? So let's say we do that. So we went to Instagram, we've seen somebody's profile, they had this link offering a free ebook on how to lose weight. I'm kind of needing to lose a little bit of weight myself, so let's just see how well this works, okay? So I, so I click on that link, and for our purpose, I'm going to put the link here. And it's going to go, and there it goes. See, it brought up our page. That's a live view right there. All right, so we say a free ebook to show you how to lose 20 pounds in weight. This ebook will show you how thousands are losing 20 pounds a week and more and uh, yes give me the book now so let's go ahead and click on this and we see it brings up our pop-up okay and we put in our uh, email address I'm just going to use this one right here it's my uh, one of my email addresses and I'm not going to use my name I'm just going to put something like uh, uh, let's put uh, Tom in here or something like that okay all right so and then uh, they, they want to opt in to get the ebook, right? Remember, we said that, that they can't get the ebook if they don't. Or even if they put in a false email address, uh, it's not going to matter. They're not going to get the ebook because it's not their email. You know, it's a false email address. They're not going to get the book. And even, well, even though it would take them to the thank you page, probably, but they're still not going to get the ebook. So it doesn't matter. All right? It's a, it's a, it's a win win all the way around. All right, so we'll click on uh, Yes, Give Me Instant Access, <clears throat> and that takes us over to our the third level in the funnel. The first level was our home page, right? The, uh, the form, email form was the second. This is our third level here. So that, then it thanks them for confirming. All right, so their information has already been put into the autoresponder, and it's already, they're already being sent the first email address, which is the welcome and thank you email okay so let's say they see this right here other congratulations you're confirmed thank you and then we say down here would you like to see a product that I have that is helping people lose massive amounts of weight and increase their energy levels by 10 times in a very short time and it tastes great too so let's say they think yeah I'd like to check that out what the heck I don't have to buy it if I don't want it right so then they click that button and uh, you notice that it, it stays right in the same tab. Notice that not this is our fourth step of the process. It didn't go to another tab. It stayed right in there, so they don't have to click tabs. All right, that's a good thing. So they can come here. This is our product. They can watch the video and uh, so on and so forth. And uh, then, if they want to go any further, and they think that they, you know, they've seen the video and read this stuff, and they want to go further and buy the product, well, right here is the link right there get started and then of course if they click on that this has our affiliate ID connected to it and it'll just straight take them to right in the same page again never no tabs no other tabs opened up and it opens up and there you see the uh, the uh, purchase form and they can purchase $37 there is a back-end sale right here for another 15 and you will make $35 of that sale right there see how that works now Let's come back though. Let's say on the other hand that they uh, that they didn't want. We'll just come back. We're just walking back through the pages. Let's say on the other hand that they didn't want. They said they, they read this and they thought, well, that's cool. Uh, I just want I just want to get my ebook anyway. But uh, I'll come back and look at this at another time or what and so on and so forth. Let's say they don't want to do this. All right, doesn't make any difference. There we have this same affiliate link that's attached here on this button to our email our first welcome email so they're going to get to see it again so let's come back and check that out so if I open up my Thunderbird I use Thunderbird email program 
and uh, open up Thunderbird. It should come in. And uh, alrighty, all right. So now let's see. And there it is. See, there's the welcome email right there. See, it just came in. All right. So. Uh, you see it right here, and I'm just Thunderbird does this stuff. And I changed up the email a little bit, and I redone it because I'd redone the whole subscriber list because the other pop-up didn't work. Remember? So I just thought I'm just going to redo the whole thing, and that's what I did. So I put in here, and it's notice that it puts their name in there. I put that e when I put the email into into a Mailing Boss Autoresponder. I put hi, and then I put brackets. You use brackets, and I put in capital letters F name which stands for first name put that in there and then I put a comma and then continue the rest of my email down here and it will automatically put their first name for you in the email pretty 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 neat stuff all right so then I said my name is Kevin Lanner thank you for joining our email list uh, here is the link to your ebook now you I would have highlighted this and put the link for the ebook here what you do is you're putting your ebook up on the Google Docs free platform it's free. You can put any file on Google Docs and you can share it with the world and people can go there and download copies of those files. So you would already have your ebook. Remember the ebook went along with weight loss. Remember we talked about that on the first page. And you'd have that up on the uh, doc, Google Docs platform and then put that link right there for their ebook. Okay? And uh, that link, you get the share link from Google Docs and bring it into a uh, uh, you build her all in your email and then you attach that link to right here to it could be click here or whatever like this one is down here now where are you going to get a free ebook like this at where would you get an ebook like this well you just go out on to Google search engine and you do a search for PLR ebooks you want to make sure you get a public uh, public license uh, copy of an ebook public license rights in other words, that's an ebook that has that's been opened up for the public, and you can freely use it to market it, sell it, or give it away as a free gift. Okay, so uh, without any laws or legal issues coming against you. So make sure you look for PLR ebooks. You'll find thousands of them, millions of them probably, and just choose one that fits your market and use that as your front end product. Your ebook is your front end product. That's what that's the price that that's the the payment that you get for that ebook is their email address and uh, first name, right? So that's your front end product. Your back end product is right here. When we click on click here, right here. Notice that I said, hey, by the way, while you're here, check out my product that is allowing people to lose lots of weight each week, and it'll go handy with your ebook, okay? So then they're seeing it again. So remember, I said if they didn't want to click on it on our on our thank you page. They're still going to get it in the first email also. And you would also send follow-up emails in your email marketing to them. You know, every so often you'll add this offer back to them. Every couple of emails you'll add this offer back to them. But you always want to give value. You know, give more free things away. You can give them, a, if you created a video, give them a, a, a video uh, to go see or something like that. But you want to give them value. All right, so then you just uh, you know, bring an offer to them here again. So... Let's say here, would you go handy with your ebook? Let's say, well, okay, yeah, let's check it out. All right, so if you click on it, it opens up in a, in a uh, browser and takes them directly to the same page we have. See? See how that works? And then, they, of course, they can go and click here to if they want to purchase or something. All right, so uh, that's how that works, folks. Uh, I know this is an even longer video than the other one, but I just wanted to make sure I covered everything and uh, got everything covered for you and I hope you got some enjoyment out of this folks and uh, I hope this helps you a lot um, I don't know like I said earlier I don't know if uh, I've never seen any other marketer do what I've done here for you here is show you how to actually create a funnel and make it work uh, step by step so but uh, if you got some value out of it that's all that matters I wanted to make sure that you that you got got some value out of this and that you, you got a chance to see this and you've learned how it's done and how to make it work okay so that's pretty much all I had for you I hope you enjoyed these part three uh, part one two and three of this tutorial and uh, make sure that you 
uh, click the share link down there and share it with other people so that they can see this too and uh, see how it's done, especially somebody that's new to marketing or something like that and has never done it before. So they'll, you know, they'll, especially if they're a member of Builderall or if you're a member of Builderall, this will all greatly help you too because it gives you a jump start on how to create a funnel so you can help you along with your marketing so that you'll you'll be better at it and get better at it and so on and so forth okay so great i hope that uh, helps you out make sure that you click the subscribe link down there check out my links below and don't forget the one uh, about uh, you know your seven day free trial of builder all also uh, uh, if you want to uh, see my number one business and get the 15 training steps in marketing uh, that link is down there uh, below too it's you want to go to mentorwithkev.com just click on mentorwithkev.com and you'll be able to see that and you'll also get a free marketing ebook from that too that I created it's a it's a powerful marketing book that will help you in your marketing also okay all right thanks a lot guys I appreciate it I'll see you on the next video have a great day bye bye now I'm not a